So we're here with Derek and Sherry, two amazing people who met doing something they love. Tell me, how did you guys meet? We met when we were both invited to speak at a school, uh -huh. and we started talking backstage. Uh -huh. That's right. <laughs> and I introduced her to the wonders of coconut water, and she helped <laughs> me with a wardrobe malfunction I was having with a shirt. Wait, what? <laughs> now I, I was she helping you, or was she helping you? I, like, she was helping me. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Wait, so, so who was the first one that said, hey, we got to go out on a date? <laughs> That was me, <laughs> although it took a while. We met up at San Diego Comic-Con for like oh. our first kind of date. We had lunch there. Wait, so this whole comic uh, experience is kind of yeah. what brought you two together That's then. Exactly oh. right. Oh. <laughs> See, Comic-Con, you're bringing people together. Now, and since then, you've been married, you do all this, but you both are publishers in your own right. Uh, tell me, The Little Rose, you got some amazing stuff here. Yes, this book was number one on Amazon for over 60 weeks. Wow, that's a long time on Amazon. Because yes. like, you get bumped off so easily. Yes. So a lot of fans. Yes, it's so wonderful. because I think it's because the message is so powerful. Yeah. It's about embracing your authentic self, no matter what the world tells you to be, oh. and finding friends who appreciate you for who you really are. So. Now, yeah, and the kids need that, right? We and I understand, do. though, yeah, and I understand <laughs> because it helps the parents, too. Uh, but I understand it goes through age groups, right? Yes, yes. This book is designed for ages 5 to 10. Okay. But we also have books for 0 to 5, and Derek has books for 7 to 12 and up, too. Yeah, let's talk about that as well. And I love this, Perro con Sombrero. Si, sí, el perro con sombreros, my bilingual doggy tale. Yeah. It's a story about a homeless doggy who doesn't have a family until a lucky sombrero lands on his head, turns his life around, and becomes a movie star dog. Oh. But he's still sad because he doesn't have a family. Oh, what every dog wants. Now, I understand this. Is this, is this a dog? Is it based on a dog that you know? That's right. It's based on our doggy, oh, Xander. What's his name? His name is Xander Zoo. <laughs> There's a picture of him down there. Oh, ZZ. Was ZZ top or ZZ <laughs> doggy top? Uh. So it teaches kids Spanish and yeah. English. So it's great for all the dual immersion schools out there and any yes. bilingual households, which there's so many of nowadays well, that need bilingual books. Well, and there's so many that need to be bilingual because <laughs> yeah. right. in this world that we live in, right? Uh, exactly. English and Spanish. Now, my parents did not do this. Mom, Dad, you should have uh, seen this. But again, it wasn't around at that time. But for people everywhere that can tune into this, first of all, where do they get your books? You can find them on Amazon, Barnes okay. & Noble, on our website at whimsicalworldbooks.com and in children's boutiques and bookstores throughout North America. Now, of course, my question is, have you guys collaborated on one together? We have. And what does that look like when you two come together on a writing <laughs> segment? And maybe there's a dis do you ever have disagreements when it comes to writing? <laughs> we haven't had any major disagreements yet, but it's fun to combine our talents because yeah. Um, for this book, the first one we wrote together, we used Sherry's famous character of the little seahorse. Ah. So we had all of her imagination and fun characters in it, and then I brought my flair for rhyme ah. into the story. So it teaches kids how to count by counting different kinds of sea life. Oh my god, we need that! So there's a little <laughs> five-year-old which can count up to 12, but after that, yeah. It's like back to 7, 10, oh, and then wow. everything, well, yeah. This goes up to 30 and has a special surprise ending, too. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, wait. So, uh, so again, Counting Sea Life with the Little Seahorse. That's right. Again, by both of you. Now, this is pretty cool. Now, you guys do a lot of tours in schools, obviously motivating a lot of kids. The kids come up to you. What's that experience like being an author and seeing their faces and seeing their excitement? It's the best feeling ever yeah. when you see that little light bulb go on and you see them believe in themselves and believe that anything is possible for them. Mm -hmm. And for Derek, I mean, he gets them to fall in love with reading. Yeah. Like, that's so powerful. Yeah. yeah. So my books, uh, I'm most well known for a series called Scary School, which is for ages 7 to 12 chapter books similar to Goosebumps. Yeah. And yeah, I just get letters from parents every day telling me their kids hated reading and couldn't get them to read, but after they read scary school now we can't get them to stop <laughs> well, it's amazing how the kids just love that stuff you would right. think oh no don't let them no let them because yeah. their imagination and, and whenever whenever they read something they love they do more of it right that's right exactly that's the one you're holding in your hand yes there it is so <laughs> scary school there it is by derek the ghost ah now we know not so he's not a ghost just yet let's keep it that way okay well i want to say thank you to both of you thank for you spending so time with us congratulations so you, again you. i love this read inspire repeat that's right do it all right there make sure to go online again whimsicalworldbooks.com there it is check it out <laughs>